As usual, we're gonna go ahead and use my coconut rose water to prime the face. Just a couple spritz. For primer, we're gonna go ahead and use the Milani Prime Shield. It looks like this, and this one helps um, reduce the pores. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that just in the T-zone area. foundation I'm going to be using today is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. It looks like this. I'm in the shade Desert Beige and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. I'm also going to be adding some of this Luminous Gold Drops into it just to add a little bit of luminosity onto the face. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these two together and apply it on the face with a beauty blender. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix it in the back of my hand and then I'll start applying it onto the face. to conceal under the eyes I'm going to be taking my city color corrector this is in the salmony shade and I'm just going to go ahead and use a concealer brush and apply this under the eyes before applying our concealer and this will just help lift the eye and conceal any dark circles or any bags under your eyes so especially for a full glam look you definitely want to look awake and conceal those parts of your eye. And then just taking your beauty blender, go ahead and blend that in so that it's nice and evenly distributed on the eye before applying your concealer. Go ahead and pick up my H Rewind, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this in triangle circles under the eyes, on the forehead, bridge of my nose, and on my chin just to kind of conceal and highlight at the same time. Contour, I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Toast, and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of contouring with this before we do our bronzer. And taking my dome brush as usual I'm gonna go ahead and spray it so that it makes it easier to blend out the contour sometimes cream um, contours can be a little drying so I find that using a little bit of spray helps distribute the product evenly and blend it out correctly And then just taking your beauty blender, you want to go ahead and blend everything out so that it does not look patchy. And same thing for the nose contour, I'm going to take a smaller angled brush and I'm going to go ahead and spray that as well and blend out the nose contour. To 
set the concealer, we're going to go ahead and take this Revolution Baking Powder. It looks like this is just a translucent color. I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the areas where we concealed, so under the eyes, bridge of the nose, on the forehead, and on the chin. look I'm gonna start off picking up the Kat Von D shade and light palette it looks like this this is for your eyes of course so I'm gonna be taking the color highlight which is this white color right here um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that um, all over the base of the eye so that we have somewhere to start when we start applying all of our colors even though we did set our eyelids this is just another way that I like to double set them just to make sure that all of our colors go on smoothly once we start blending in our crease color and the lid shade. I am going to be sticking to the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette, um, but I do have a crease color that I want to use from the Morphe 3502 palette, so I am going to go ahead and tap into that palette as well. Um, the color that I'm going to be using is this one right here, and it is called Tan, and that is just going to be my transition shade before applying the other color in the Kat Von D Shade on Light palette. So I have finished my red eye. My camera did shut off in the middle of me doing it, so um, the color that I put in the crease was just this color right here in the palette called contour I go in to the palette with the color define which is this brown shade right here and I'm gonna go ahead and start um, defining the crease a little bit with a penciled brush to help blend this out so that it is nice and clean I'm gonna take a small tapered brush that looks like this I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that same color and start blending out that crease color to further blend it out just taking another blending brush and then just going over top of that in circular motions because we want everything to have that gradient effect and have that transition shade blend in nicely with that crease color. my Morphe M533 brush. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that orangey shade that we applied on the crease right here and I'm going to go ahead and just barely dab it in because these shadows are pigmented and blend it out more on the crease. and clean it up a little bit doing a small cut crease I do have smaller um, a little bit hooded eyes so my lid space is not as big as most so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and carve it out lightly and define this a little bit more kind of like this one and apply a bone a bone color shade on top and then we're gonna do a glittery eyeshadow on top of that so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a small brush like this and I am gonna go ahead and just grab my concealer and start carving out the lid and then using this angled side I'm going to go ahead and clean up that tail area right there a flat brush like this one I'm gonna go into the shade highlight in the palette right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on the lid to set all of that in place and then going back in with the tapered brush I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up 
that contour shade, which is that brown color right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just go back into that crease line because I did have a little bit of transfer from the concealer onto the lid. So you can always just go back in and redefine that. So for the lid color, I am going to be taking a color from the Morphe 3502 palette. I am taking the color Pure, which is a gold shade, and it is this one right here. Um, it's very subtle, but you can add Fix Plus or any type of spray and enhance the pigment in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the lid. And then again, going back in with that tapered brush and a little bit of that dark brown color, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it because I got a little bit of transfer again on top. So. Okay, now that eyeliner is on, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the brows so that I can go ahead and finish up the rest of the eye look. For the brows, I am taking my LA Girl Shady Slim Pencil. This is in Brunette. I'm just going to go ahead and clean them up a little bit with concealer and this brush right here. On the lower lash line, I'm going to go back into my Kat Von D palette and pick up the shade. We're going to do exactly the same thing that we did on the top of the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this orangey shade right here, which is the contour shade. And I'm going to start applying that and smoking out the lower lash line. brush I'm going to go ahead and start applying that darker shade that we use on our lid on the lower lash line as well closest to the lashes smaller tapered brush just going back in with that orangey shade and I'm going to go ahead and blend all of that out. And then taking this white shade right here, it's the highlight shade, I'm going to go ahead and start applying that on the brow bone. the inner corner I'm going to be taking this highlight shade right here I'm going to go ahead and brighten up that inner corner and then we're going to apply a highlight shade on top of that so let's go ahead and apply that shade I like doing this because it serves as a base for that highlight color it gives it something to cling on so I really really like doing that step Alright, so let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the face and then we're going to come back to lashes. Um, to contour the face, I'm going to be picking up my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. It looks like this. And I'm going to be taking pretty much a mixture of 
these two shades right here, which is uh, S'more and Subconscious. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over the cheeks. And then to apply that, I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light brush. taking my small angled brush that we use to blend out the contour and be taking the powder um, and setting the nose contour. I'm going to be picking up the color Luminoso from Milani Cosmetics. I'm just going to be taking it in a small fluffy brush and applying this on the apples of my cheeks. Face, I am going in with my Revolution Pro Illuminate powder. It looks like this. It's just this giant piece of <laughs> highlight, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this and start applying it on the high points of my face. Taking the same highlight and a smaller brush, I'm going to grab a little bit of that and highlight on the inner corners of the eyes and a little bit on the end of the brow bone. go ahead and set the brows using the Maybelline Precise and just adding a little bit of this to mold and shape the brows. For mascara today, I'm going to be taking the Alme Mascara and I'm also going to be taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Using these two together, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and I will be right back. For this look, I did want to incorporate two different lip colors, um, one more being on the bold side and then the second one being more on the brown nudie side. So for the bold, I am going to be using this Kat Von D lip color and it is a sheer lipstick and it is in the shade Lolita. So it looks like this and that's the first lip color option. And then for the second one, I wanted to do something more on the nude side. So I am gonna be using this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, and it is in the shade Nudist. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you first Nudist, and then I'll go in with Lolita. I'm gonna go ahead and lip line using this nude orangey kind of lip color before applying Nudist. And then going in with Nudist, I'm going to go ahead and apply this lip color all over the lips. And then I do want the lips to be more glossy, so I'm going to go in with the MAC Dazzle Lip Gloss and just apply a little bit of this on the center of the lips just to make them look a little bit more pouty. So 
this is look number one with a more nude lip. Okay, for the second color combo, I'm going to be taking this Kat Von D lipstick in the shade Lolita. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with a nude lip Pencil, this one is by NYX and it is in the color natural. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lip line and then add this color over top. And then with this one, I also do want a little bit of a gloss, so I'm going to go in with the MAC lip gloss. So This is what the second shade looks like. I definitely like this one a lot more for the holiday, but of course if you guys wanted to try that nude lipstick, it is perfect if, even if it's for an everyday look. Um, we're going to go ahead and set the face. And yeah, so this finishes up the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed how this turned out. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a happy holiday.